Imagine a deck so powerful that it has the ability to play around not only an artifact scythe, but also a Nibiru, all in the same combo. Let's check it out. Game on everybody and welcome to another video. You guys have seemed to enjoy my Magic Key deck profile and I just want to say I'm very thankful that you guys were interested in it. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend you check it out so then that way you guys can enjoy the full combo video. First off, we're going to start with a really easy combo just to kind of give you the generic idea of what the flow is for this combo. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the advanced stuff. I think I have about like six combos lined up for you guys. I honestly do think this deck has a lot of potential. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing and leave a like if you enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and get started. So just to get you guys familiar with the combo, we essentially just need any vanilla monster, field spell, and a third card. The chances of you opening these specific cards is actually extremely high based off the ratios we have. So it's a very consistent combo. So for this, we're actually gonna go ahead and get started. We activate the field spell. The field spell is gonna search us our ritual monster, level four ritual monster. Activating it again gets us the ritual slash fusion card, shuffling back our third unwanted card. Normal summoning clav key, then activating Maftia. Allowing us to ritual summon by sending a normal monster to the graveyard from our deck. We're going to then trigger the effect of the ritual monster, adding a magic key card to our hand. Ideally, when this deck gets more support, we'll be searching the other level four monster. As I mentioned before, this is just a very basic tutorial, essentially just getting us two level fours or one tuner and non-tuner monster onto the field. It's extremely consistent and consistency is key for winning the game. And if for whatever reason you're just out of plays and you just want to turbo out the level eight, this is how you do it. So essentially it starts off as the original combo, except you just add the level eight instead of the level four. You then normal summon your vanilla monster and then activate the fusion slash ritual card, dumping another vanilla monster to the graveyard and the monster on field, bringing out the magic key mech mortar. So this upcoming combo is essentially the game plan for the whole deck. Starting off like that we normally would do is essentially get our vanilla monster on field and activate the field spell. Searching us our ritual card, activating the field spell again to search for the ritual fusion card. Activating the card allows us to ritual summon by sending material from our deck to the graveyard. Activating the ritual card will allow us to add any magic key card to our hand. We're going to then link a tuner and non-tuner to make Christian Halky Fibrax. Activating's effect to special summon Death Squad 001. We're going to link those away into Mecha Phantom Beast Auroradon. That's going to go ahead and trigger and special summon three tokens. The effect of Death Squad 001 is going to activate special summoning from the graveyard and we're going to use one token and one Death Squad to make the Herald of Arclight. We're going to then activate the effect of Mecha Phantom Beast Aurora Dawn, popping two of our tokens to special summon a Colt Wing from our deck to the field. This is going to actually trigger its effect, special summoning two tokens and then that'll also trigger Death Squad 001 from the graveyard. We're going to now use a token and despot again to synchro summon into another herald. Now with two level fours on the field, we're going to exes into Dugaris, the timeless. Activating his second effect to skip your next main phase one, you special summon one monster in your graveyard in defense position. We're going to then bring back despot 001, activating herald's effect in graveyard. This will allow us to add a ritual monster and a ritual spell to our hand. We're going to target the level 8 and the advanced ritual art. We're going to then synchro summon into Borrowlord Savage Dragon. We're going to trigger the effect to equip a link monster. And now Borrowlord Savage Dragon has two negates. Activating advanced ritual art, we're going to go ahead and send two vanilla monsters to the graveyard to Ritual Summon Magic Key Cannon. From this combo alone, we were actually able to get Magic Key Mech Mortar to 3800 attack. That means we have every attribute in the graveyard with the exception of Divine. So no matter what deck your opponent plays, theoretically, we should be able to have a negate with this card available. Borlode Savage Dragon should also be able to provide a negate. And on top of that, this was necessarily just like a two card combo. So any other three cards we may have in hand could initiate a response or interruptions for your opponent. Here's another similar combo, but featuring Diviner the Herald. We're going to activate Diviner's effect, sending Herald of the Arc Light to the graveyard from our extra deck. This allows us to add the ritual card to hand. We're going to activate the field spell, 
allowing us to get the magic key mech mortar. We're then going to activate the effect again, adding the gun to our hand. We're gonna now use Diviner of the Herald to ritual summon as ritual summon material to bring out our level four magic key mech musket. That effect's gonna trigger as chain link one and then chain link two diviner or however you want it. Diviner is going to special summon Eva. And magic key mech musket is gonna add a magic key card to our hand. And then we basically go do the combo one more time because we have a tuner and non-tuner on field. And then Eva's effect's also gonna trigger banish two fairy monsters. And then we can add an orange light and a herald to hand as an extra interruption on our opponent's turn. So here's the generic combo again, as we just saw before. A little bit different here though, because we're only able to synchro for one, because we used the first one originally for the diviner dump. So we're gonna pop it as well, summon a cult wing. That way we're able to special summon two tokens. Special summon despot 001, then synchro summon into clear wing fast dragon. This theoretically can be any level seven monster, but this one provides you a monster negate if it was summoned from the extra deck. Activating the advanced ritual arts, special summoning Glasgar. So unfortunately we can only make it not at the 3800, but I'm pretty sure that this will do. Especially if we back it up with magic key unlocking, we can force the attribute of our opponent's monsters. So then that way we do have that disruption with magic key mech mortar. So not every combo includes like diviner or the field spell and the vanilla monster. Well, I mean, I guess this is kind of like a version, right? We're going to showcase a combo using Manju and the unexpected die. So first we're going to activate unexpected die, special summoning any vanilla monster. I highly recommend it being a tuner though for this situation. Normal link summoning Manju, Manju is going to go ahead and add us a, a ritual card. For this combo, we're going to add refined ritual art. Do our generic despot combo and mecha phantom beast combo. So Herald is going to activate, we're going to add Advanced Ritual Art, and then we're going to add Batos Buster. Activating Advanced Ritual Art. This one we ended up dumping Rice Sioux Ship to Special Summon Batos Buster. Batos Buster's effect is going to trigger, we're going to add Magic Key Sky Blaster Clavis. We then Synchro Summon Mecha Phantom Beast Colt Wing and Despot 001 to make Borlord Savage Dragon. We're going to now equip the Christian Hockey Fibrax to Borlord Savage Dragon. Activate Refined Ritual Art because we have a vanilla in hand. Sending Clav Key to another Batos Buster and then Synchro into a level seven monster. Overall though, that this combo is pretty strong and this was just off another two card combo. Here's another cool little combo that I talked about in my deck profile video. Essentially, you're gonna normal summon Diviner, activate the Diviner's effect, Centrius, activate Magic Key Unlocking. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Ritual card and then the Ritual card as well that brings them out. Tributing Diviner brings out Battles Buster. Diviner is going to activate and Battles Buster is going to activate. For this one, you do need to add another field spell. Super crucial for this one. And then Diviner is going to actually special summon Valkyrie Shets. Again, I apologize for butchering these names. Because Shets was special summon, we get to special summon Drite from deck. And then Drite's effect, add a Sigrun from deck to hand. We're then going to Synchro Summon into a level nine Stellar Wind Wolf Raid. And this card says that it gains 300 attack each time another monster effect is activated. And then once it reaches that 4,000 attack threshold, it gains the quick effect of shuffling both this card and all monsters your opponent controls into the deck. This is super disruptive for combo decks. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can make it a very defensive card, at least for this combo. So right now I'm gonna activate Sigrun from hand. So that's one activation. It pops the field spell, special summons from the hand. And then the activate effect of Sigrun is gonna special summon Drite from the graveyard. That's another activation. And then I'm gonna activate Trias in the graveyard, tributing one fairy monster to special summon it from the graveyard. That's gonna activate Stellar Wind Wolf Rate again, leaving your opponent with theoretically two more activations of monster effects. So in a sense, it's like almost better than Nibiru. 
I don't know, pretty subjective. I thought about even adding a level nine Xyz monster to the deck because both of these monsters are level nine, but the extra deck is so tight and I just haven't quite figured out what I want to cut or even if possible. So as a reminder, if you guys enjoy the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel for more videos. If you guys are interested in the full deck profile, please be sure to check out that video. I'll post it in the subscription card up above. Feel free to leave me a comment as well as I do my best to reply to every single one of them when I can. I am truly ever so grateful that you guys watch my videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out of here.